Uber just announced it's selling its air taxi business called Uber Elevate to Joby Aviation, which will also receive an equity investment from Uber to continue plans for urban air transportation. The stuff of science fiction are the Jetsons. Our own Phil LeBeau joins us now along with Joby Aviation Executive Chairman for an exclusive interview. Phil, take it away. Thank you very much, uh, Sarah. Paul Sciara, the executive chairman for Joby Aviation, joins us live. Uh, Paul, tell us why this deal is so important in terms of Joby Aviation now folding in Uber Elevate. Yeah, well, first of all, Phil, thank you for having me on. Really appreciate you guys making the time today. Um, this announcement today is really almost a decade and a half in the making. Um, Joby in intended from the get-go to not only just design a vehicle, but also to deliver a service with that vehicle. Um, and we've been laser focused on the first piece, making sure that we have the right vehicle and making sure that that vehicle is ready for certification. The announcement today is really about accelerating the second piece, getting us ready to go to market and begin to deliver that service shortly. As you know, there are really and three when... pieces of the deal. First, the investment sure. from Uber. Second, um, our acquisition of the team and the software that they developed. And then third and finally, um, an expanded partnership with Uber that's going to get our service in front of a large number of customers from day one. And let's talk about when we actually see that service. Are you targeting 2023? Is it realistic to think that you or I may be somewhere and we can use an app, use the Uber app to say, okay, I want Joby Aviation to pick me up here in a particular city and take me to another place, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes away? Yeah, so we're pretty confident on getting type certification of the vehicle in 2023. And then our goal is going to be to staged rollout from there. So we'll start with a few cities, um, get deep in those cities, put a large number of vehicles, a large number of takeoff and landing locations, and then begin to expand uh, that way. So it's a little bit more of a go deep before we in turn go wide. And as I said, we feel confident about that goal. You have not yet announced what the pricing will be for a particular ride over how long of a distance you'll have to charge X amount of dollars. Realistically, how much of a market do you think is out there for an urban air taxi service? Yeah, so I don't know if you've ever spent any time sitting in traffic, uh, Phil, but that's really the problem that we're trying to solve. Um, we want to deliver a new mode of transportation and get folks that are their destination five times faster, can do that at greater safety and over time at similar cost to driving, and then finally can do that in a way that is sustainable, that is zero emissions. And that's what we intend to do. Um, it's really a service that's suitable for any trips between 5 and 150 miles. So that's a big wide swath of trips. Um, and we aim to start at a slightly higher price point, but the, but the vehicle itself and the service was designed to get down to a cost that's comparable to a taxi or an Uber today in the relative short term. Paul Sciara, the executive chairman of Joby Aviation, joining us exclusively here on the closing bell as the company announces that it is going to be acquiring Uber Elevate. So, guys, this is uh, an interesting couple of years ahead of us for Joby Aviation. Looking forward to seeing when we actually see that plane, that vertical takeoff and landing plane up in the air. Well, big time. We look forward uh, to that immensely. Uh, Phil, thanks so much for bringing it to us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.